Hi, everyone. Welcome to day 11 of the 12 days of tapping. I'm Dr. Susan Thompson. And I wanted to start our little session today with an article I ran across that's from October this year called Emotional Den Denial Damages Mind and Body. And this is a report of three studies that came to the same conclusion. Um, and each of the studies was designed to test the idea that acceptance of so-called negative emotions yields better psychological health. So the first study, which was the biggest, uh, lasted about six months and had over a thousand volunteers. People answered questions that were designed to help figure out how they felt about uh, experiencing certain emotions. And the results of that study showed that the participants who acknowledged and accepted negative feelings showed greater psychological health when they were re-examined six months later. Study number two was much fewer volunteers, about 150 or so, given two minutes to prepare a three-minute speech for a mock job interview, and they were asked to outline their skill set. After finishing speeches, they were asked to share how they felt about the task. The participants who accepted negative feelings about the task showed less emotional distress than those who just put on a happy face. So I hope you know where all of this is going. You see all this is uh, leading to why we start with the so-called negative feelings with tapping. The third study, uh, 222 volunteers kept a daily journal for two weeks and recorded negative experiences and their responses to them. Six months later, each person went uh, through a psychological assessment and those who did not record uncomfortable responses to bad situations tended to have more anxiety and depression compared to those who acknowledged those negative experiences. So the conclusion that the Canadian researchers came to was this, that individuals who accept rather than judge their mental experiences may attain better psychological health in part because acceptance helps them experience less negative emotion in response to stressors. So, I hope that explains a little bit of why we start with the negative or what's wrong when um, we're tapping. And I'm gonna go ahead and just start with that for this uh, sequence. I'm gonna, one suggestion for today was about self-doubt. So we're gonna go there outside of the hand. Even though, I so often doubt myself and I feel the heartache of that. More and more, I remember I'm so much more than this event, emotion or thought. Even though sometimes I doubt myself, more and more, I remember I'm so much more than this one event. Even though I doubt myself, sometimes, and maybe even more than sometimes, and it causes me such heartache, more and more, I remember I'm a vibrational frequency that is expressed in light. How's that sound? Eyebrow. Sometimes I doubt myself. Sigh of the eye. Sometimes I doubt myself. Under the eye. And maybe it's okay that I doubt myself. Under the nose. Maybe I could accept myself even though I doubt myself. Above the chin, what I really want to know is the truth. 
collarbone. What I really want is to live the truth. Under the arm. I have such a need to be and feel cautious. Top of the head. Maybe it's okay to feel cautious and be cautious. Eyebrow. Sometimes I'm just not sure who or what to trust. Side of the eye. Maybe it's okay sometimes to be unsure about who or what to trust. Under the eye. Maybe doubt is a signal. Under the nose. Maybe doubt signals me that something's not right above the chin, and it's up to me to discern what's the truth. Collarbone. More and more I'm learning to trust myself. Under the arm. More and more, no matter how I feel or what people say, top of the head, or what I'm going through. Eyebrow, I remember what is real and what is true. Sigh the eye. It's okay for me to doubt. Under the eye, sometimes I doubt myself. Under the nose, maybe doubt is a signal. Above the chin, for me to discern the truth from within, collarbone. More and more I remember, I am so much more than this event and this doubt. Under the arm, more and more I choose peace. Top of the head, this is the last point. I remember I am a vibrational frequency that is expressed in light. Stop and take a deep breath. And remember, you are so much more than one thought or feeling or experience. So until next time, happy tapping.